Welcome back to Road to 56, 56 Miles an Hour, i.e. Heart Survive 4, Road to 56, and Motorized Infantry Only. Well, I say motorized, but I am using some basic infantry templates just to hold Ireland. While using motorized only for the actual fighting. At the moment, I'm saving up my political power to try and get so for the Ooh, this is things are already starting to hot up. Saving my political power to get get war economy and plus and after that the elusive gentleman. Basically I need the war economy. I need that for anything else. Could go for partial mobilization, but the extra speed. And there's also less fuel gain for oil. Which Getting any oil, but you know that. Oh, things are starting to hot up now. Ultra Ribbon Trap Pack. And Germany has a play a war goal against Belgium. And our troops are outnumbered by the Italians here. Best thing we can probably do is just hold the line. And here we go. This is not going to work out well for them. Helpful. Physics company asked for the trucks. We are now at war. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a problem. This so instead of the elusive gentleman, I might go with the pot. Or let's see. And we finally finally got something to get the Sir. So things are starting up. See how this goes. Well, Italy's joined the war. We're outnumbered. They have a massive stacking penalty. Not that it's going to make any difference. Start pushing. Right. Do I develop our own designs or focus on our own designs? We'll do it ourselves. Or actually, I do need the extra factories. So and the extra like processing. So I'll do that now. Huh. This might actually not be going so badly. Basically, they don't have any supplies, but we do because I took the foresight, had the foresight to build a port and railway here. Logistics. So boring but practical. Well, look at this. We have lost 304 people to Italy. They have lost 7.4k to us and 2 to the UK. <laughs> actually kind of funny. So it looks like we're actually managing to push. Slowly, but... We're getting there. And of course, Norway has been declared war on. Germany has declared war on Norway. It's like. Italians have pushed into. Right into. French North Africa, but they're getting pushed back because they have no supplies. 
also push it and also pushing into northern Italy. That is not unexpected. What was what was Denmark gonna do there? Iceland is gonna stay out. We are very short of fuel. Oh Britain, can you let me can you let me stop? Another bitch. Good, got the synthetic processing. Why don't just go with this encourage foreign investors? Make it look like we um like we're a good investment even in the middle of a war. I've gone and got this um elusive gentleman. I think next one I will get will either be figurehead or extensive conscription. Mostly is ticking up because we have a the war support now, but it's going to take a while. And we're slowly pushing them back. The thing is, they just can't dislodge us very easily. I'm not sure we can dislodge them, actually, now I think about it. Basically, this terrain is all desert, which is quite good for motorized, and mountain. Not. But I think we can... Because you can see they have they have very poor supply. Or in a great supply anyway. Of course. And let's now. That's a surprise. Luxembourg falling to the Germans. Which means they're going to start pushing into Metz. Hmm. Funds have been militarized. That's going to have. And, of course, Germany is attacking. Hmm, extra breakthrough for for ours, light armored recon. Somebody back this doesn't affect me because it's just tank armor, but How much I can we do about, about mainland France for now? Brits have taken Benghazi, that should kind of help fix some of the here. This portion building here should help get some supplies in. Yep. Right. Well, we finally took Tobruk. Now to start pushing. That's going to help with our supplies mess up theirs. We basically, we're basically overrunning them because you can see this um, coastal division here. They're retreating. So is this cavalry division, this infantry. Basically, motorized just have the speed to overtake everything. Ah, Oman is landing us trucks because we are short of them. How nice of them. So, I'm going to be going with the escort ships around, around the Irish Sea. Just to help, just to help out with submarine warfare. Well, that's not a surprise.
Yeah, we're. Ah, crap. We got. We got cut off there. And we don't have the supplies. But nor do they. Which means we can push back here and link up. Pull back along this line because I do not want us getting cut off like that again. So yeah, you really have to keep an eye on your troops, and make sure they don't don't all end up cut off like like one of these guys did. Fourth division, hmm. don't move, guys. Really, don't move. Well, we've actually done about 7% of the war effort with just these four divisions. Yeah, we've lost about 14k to Italy and Germany. Hmm. Right. Oh, we're actually in third place for a number of casualties caused to the Italians. Punching a bit above our weight there. I just realized I never got around to adding logistics onto these things. That was pretty dumb. Of course, we're very short of trucks. So this is going to take a while to get... Well... The Danish are trying to land in Dublin. Good luck with that. And of course they've landed in Wicklow, which I actually did because I didn't have enough troops here. But they have no supply. They have we have air superiority even with our crappy fighters, fighter bombers. What were they thinking? Probably just trying to annoy me. And they're trying to push into Dublin because that's a force. Focus on the coast, guys. And I do have more coming. Yeah, we basically stalled here because flies are getting, having a hard time getting through because air support, enemy air support. But we'll get there. And I'm going to focus on sea dominance. I can't get much of a battle fleet. And however, make destroyers and convoys cheaper. And I cozy up to the Yanks a bit again, I can get even more output. Hmm. Probably convoy escorts now I think about it.
Yeah, we're going to start slowing down a bit here because we have no ports whatsoever. So a good chunk of what I actually do in most of these games is just build railways and naval bases. It's quite a small... Doesn't, it's not exciting. It does the job. Even with the supply situation, we're still rolling over them. Because they just can't get supplies in, and we can just keep overrunning them. Oh, we've declared war on Iceland, which is probably going to be a defensive war. Ah. So it looks like we have a superior enemy, as in they outnumber us. But they probably haven't got the supplies to handle it, to deal with us. We are stalled for now, and basically waiting for a new port to come up here. So we can keep the supplies rolling. I should see about bringing my air support. Ooh, yeah, we're taking close air support down as well. Let's see. So basically, these are all planes that have crashed near us, and we've recovered. Used to me, because I have my own planes, which are probably not great, but they'll do. Oh, they're starting to push us back a little bit. Back against us, rather. We don't have the supplies to push forward, but that's going to change very soon. Very soon indeed. Yep, they're pushing us back because we just can't sustain ourselves. So now that we've actually dug in a bit more, I think we could probably do with that. Thing is, I don't think we actually have enough troops to do much more than hold them here. But that might mean less troops going to freeze. Ah, who am I trying to keep there? Oh, starting to push back. We're starting to push them back now. This time we actually have air superiority, so that will help deal with the air support. And I'm just going to stack that a bit more in my favor. Extra. Air base is here. This is interesting. This is a cursed. Oh, let's send our air force to work. Don't have enough supplies. And the air brace is overcrowded. Welcome to North Africa. After I've After I've got this, I think I'm going to go do something about it. Probably do this mechanism. Now we have full it. We have air superiority. Helps. I have enough supply in the air base. But nice if I could build anti air in allied territory. So much easier, but ooh. Come on boys. Push. Keep pushing. That'll help stabilize the front line a bit. Yeah, just being able to get rid of half their supplies and keep ours going makes such a huge difference. Hmm. I'm going to get this because rocket rails provide a lot of 
ground attack for very little ways. Because I am going to replace those planes at some point. I mean, they're, they're obviously doing their job for now. But I am going to need to replace them at some point. Bugger. That is not good. Oh, invasion in Ireland. What was it? Oh, and we finally have a fleet. What's the worst that could happen? Looks like I have to build a bloody supply. I hate supply of this game. They are too expensive for what they do. Fortunately, the mod doesn't actually reduce that. Annoying. Uh, yeah, we're stuck in a stalemate here, and come on, dude. You just stop this. Like, if you're going to do a naval landing, do it in the planes up here. Where you can then push, where you have less of an attack penalty. Ah, it's... Well, Iceland has now capitulated, so that's one less war to worry about. Doing much there. We're basically stuck here, losing a lot of people. And we do not have nearly enough trucks for this. Prime best. Big surprise that little pocket we had there had got pushed back. We just don't have the air superiority here. And to think this was going so well at the start. Well, isn't that a surprise? Germans breaking a truce. Agreement. Inconceivable. And they tried landing in Belfast. And probably got kicked out of the place. We're giving a little hand up there. They also took the Isle of Man, which is going to be a bit of a pain inside, the side, but there you have it. And I think I'm going to go back and change these to use regular infantry rather than building garrisons. It does provide some extra stuff. It does require some extra manpower and equipment, but I think we can li live with it for now. It also means they can respond to things a bit more around Ireland. Give them engineers as well to help them dig in quicker. So basically they can put they can hold the line better, push back a little bit better. That's what we need. And of course we don't have nearly enough so Yeah, I'm starting to think that this isn't really a, vi a completely viable for Ireland. Just using the infantry. They're just using motorized. Now, 
Found our dockyards, I guess. And... Sure. Now we've got Polish, Australian troops helping out. Ireland, we can really do much more for them. But down here we're kind of stalled. So I can get better supply, supply situation and more people. And better air spear. So I think I'm going to leave it there for this episode. See you in the next one. So long, goodbye.